everybody <clears throat> welcome back to my channel I hope you're having an awesome day and you are ready to listen to me babble <laughs> today I'm gonna be talking about wait why am I as I'm heading back to work I just had lunch so I'm heading back to work but this Parking space is so little. I'm trying to um, pull out of here. Now it's going to be hell to get across the street. It's my first time actually pulling into this KFC, so. Excuse me, I just had lunch. Excuse me. Are you giving me the go? I guess not. So, um, today my video will be about my experience living in the United States my first five years. I'm trying to get this camera set up right. My experience, my first five years. For those who are thinking about um, migrating to the country, I want to say it was one of one of the most challenging and rewarding things I've ever done in my entire life. I had to start over not everything because I was smart about it but coming here giving up my job giving up my home giving up my car moving away from family and friends it was very hard very very hard it's still Still is a little hard some days, you know, I have my good days, my bad days. But for the most part, the latter part of five the five the first five years was very good. But I did it didn't just come to me. I had to work hard to get it. I had to pull out all the stops. I had to ensure that everything I was doing was in accordance with my goals that I had for myself. I had to set my, many goals for myself. Some of them, um, you know, after, you know, you get overzealous. Sometimes you set certain goals and you're like, uh, oh, I don't know if this goal is, is, um, attainable it may be but not in that first five years so you know you have to go back and adjust adjust the goals but I had to do a lot of that I had to do a lot of soul searching it's rent sorry guys it's raining so if you hear the wiper if you hear a sound that's the wiper blades um, making that sound so I definitely had to do a lot of soul searching I had to do a lot of researching. I had to um, step up to the plate. I had to get, I mean, I was responsible. I was, I think I was being a responsible person when I was back home, but I had to multiply that responsibility by four. You know how in Jamaica, you live good with your neighbors. It was a culture shock. Not necessarily a culture shock, because not like I didn't know before. But coming back to it, because that's another story. But coming to live here, you don't even know your neighbor's name. The old, you know how I knew my neighbor's name? 
from the mailbox because our mailboxes were um, close together from the mailbox you don't know your neighbor they barely said hi like barely they're everybody hustling to go to work everybody hustling to go home everybody you know the only time I probably saw my neighbor was on a wash day when I'm going out to do my laundry or they're going out and we're you know coming in that's it hello hi and that was it so in Jamaica your neighbor most times is like one of your friends most times you can have a conversation with your neighbor you share a fence you, you know you have something in common because you share a fence so it's even if it's even to talk about the fence you and your neighbor will talk but not here so that that was one thing that you know was really shocking to me that you know not that I couldn't deal with it but Not that I couldn't deal with it because, shoot, I, I slowly became a loner, to be honest. When you're here, if you don't have friends and family, you become a loner. And I became a loner because I was only working. I was working a lot and um, if you're not working, you're doing laundry, if you're not doing laundry, you're, you're shopping for groceries it's like everything is routine or let me say everything was routine it still is to, to an extent but now I, I make time I make sure I make time especially for my son I make time to s spend time with him you know so I know that every Saturday come high or low we are going out you know we're going somewhere even if it is to drive to the mall or drive to the river or something we're going out we're catching a bite on the road we're you know we're doing it because that's my baby boy right there he's a grown grown boy but that's still my baby you know <laughs> anyways um so yeah, there was no time for family. You didn't have, I didn't see my, my family. When I first came here, like my grandmother and my husband would, would work all the time. Like I, I was just in the house by myself. So I, I say all of that to say, if you're not ready to um, give up a lot, you're not ready to live in, United States but you have to remember at the end of the day you regain your independence you do regain your independence because um, but I mean it's gonna take some time however if you work hard at your goals that time can be split into two or three when I started to, to attempt to, to buy a house everybody looked at me like this bitch is crazy you just walked in America what are you talking about but I had a goal guys I had a goal and under in, in five years I bought a house in five years I changed two cars You know, I had, how many jobs did I change? Let me see. Not that I changed. And one of my jobs, they, it, I got a management position. It was, it became redundant after a while. Um, let's see. How many jobs did I, did I do? Probably about four or five in five years. You know, you, you have to be prepared to accept <laughs> some jobs that you would never think of doing in your own country yeah you have to it's it's the survival survival 
and I'll tell you my story in another video about the first job I did when I came here. I'll tell you in another video because there's no shame. There's no shame. Every money has the same color. Last time I checked. So there's no shame. So. I like the fact that I can use this platform to tell what I went through and my experience. You know? I like this platform. And that's why I'm going to use it to encourage somebody. I'm not going to tell anybody that it's easy when you come into this country. It is It is not easy. And if you don't have the support of family and friends for the long haul, you're going to be... Well, I'm not going to tell you that you're going to be depressed or nothing, but you can. It's a possibility that you'll start feeling lonely and depressed. You know, your your emotions are going to get into, um, entangled with everything. Your relationships will possibly start to go downhill. But you have to keep grounded. If you are grounded, you can do anything. It's not impossible. I did it. I started over. I'm not a person who likes to start over anything. And if I can start over and still be in a position to make it and still making it, then anybody can do it. Any so if you have your if you you have your significant other who wants you to join them here, don't be afraid. Just don't be afraid. Do do what you gotta do to um to get yourself ready. Like I said, it's going to be tough in, in the beginning, but others have done it, so can you. So don't be scared that, um, oh, I don't like the cold or whatever. Guys, listen, I find myself leaving work and 2 o'clock in the morning I get home, I'm shoveling snow. Snow didn't choose me. I chose snow, so snow is going to come regardless. So it's got, it's got to be done, you know? You got to... It is what it is. And like I said, you can achieve your goals here. It is not easy. However, it is possible. And if you work hard, it's possible in an even quicker time frame. And if you have the support of your family and friends for the long haul, why not? You have a spouse or family member like a mother or a father because there's no other option except for like stepchildren you know and it got to be a certain age but I made myself knowledgeable on the immigration policies I am NOT an attorney but I know a lot on the immigration process because I went through it on my own I did everything on my own so you know, I know. And I can, I can point you in the right direction if you need to read documents. Just research. Google is your best friend. <laughs> Google will lead you where you need to go. Trust me. I know. So. I am heading back to work. <coughs> That's my dinner for later. I should leave this too. I'm gonna get guys, I need a piece of ice. Let's see. Mm. So if you have any questions or you need me to lead you in the right direction, send me a message. Thank you guys for watching my video. And I'll see you in my next one. Subscribe. Peace out.